Good evening, everyone. I'm Ashley Banfield. This is Crime and Justice. Tonight, authorities are tracking the... When Nathan Carmen heard that he had been hit with a Slayer action, he probably knew right away that this was no video game. Daniel Small, he's the attorney for those aunts of Nathan Carmen. Also with me is Pat Hayes. She's the mother of two sons with Asperger's. We say may have Asperger's. He was diagnosed. Yes, his father confirmed that he was diagnosed uh, with Asperger's as a kid. Um, Does this seem to be this school had a lot to say about him? Sure. Uh, a lot of kids in high school. He had a tough time coping um, when he was challenged. He, he, his coping mechanisms right. uh, failed when he was, as a child, he held another child hostage with a knife. Right, that did show up. Uh, he uh, had a psychotic episode as a, uh, mm -hmm. a Nathan Carmen. It didn't go well. He got very upset. Um, he walked out. I mean, he came back eventually. But you can get a sense of his personality from this interview. Have a look. Do a, a bit of a, a taste of at least, uh, you know, how things go when you challenge him. It, it didn't go, like I said, he came back to do the interview. Let's talk a little bit about the other stuff you said. It's not so much about the demeanor, it's more about the stuff, the evidence. And let's be clear, he hasn't been charged with either, well, homicide. The other one, we don't know where mom is. She was never found. Um, but there were, uh, the, 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 the grandfather was killed with 308 bullets and he bought a gun. Right. Uh, investigators discovered uh, about six months after uh, the murder that Nathan had purchased. Uh, Say he says he lost it too. Right. right so that's right. one big, that's big. The smoking gun. Smoking gun, <laughs> yeah. literally. Yeah. Uh, he had dinner with his grandfather allegedly the night he died, and then did not show up for a, a scheduled meeting with his mom the next. Not, not the ominous fishing trip that came nope, three years nope. later, where he was doing the uh, trim tabs off, right. and then sealed it with marine putty, and off they went fishing, and lo and behold, the boat sank. Right. Somehow he gets a life raft with food. And, and water and a week later he's do we know what the inconsistencies are that the police are referencing when they say well and that again could points. it could be the the condition that he suffers it's not easy to communicate and maybe that that's part of it hold that thought for a moment daniel small i want you to jump into this conversation if i can um you're representing the aunts in this case have they always had a problem with nathan or have these issues surfaced since grandfather and mom Mom's presumably dead. Avoidance, they, that's kind of the way of communication with Asperger's, as opposed to, we assume that means criminal. I'm with you. I, I agree. This shouldn't happen. Um, look, I've seen people represent themselves who never, ever should have done so, and it is a tricky wicket for a judge to, to, to walk. But at the same time, it's the Windsor, Connecticut police who still say he is still a suspect in the death of dad uh, or of granddad. So I, I agree. I think it's... Um, Shocking that a man like that, he says it's because he has no money. He's hoping to sell a house or do something with his house to get money and get an attorney. But I think you make a, a great point. Let's stay on this story, and I hope you'll come back again. It's good reporting. And, and Randy, I'm going to get you to, to weigh in on a couple of for joining us and to Pat Hayes as well. Tonight, a verdict. After a beautiful San Diego woman was found So you just wonder about the signers of the Constitution doing that old role in the, you know. You know how it goes, but there's one in every state. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm Ashley Banfield. See you back here tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, for Crime and Justice. Stay tuned. Forensic Files is up next. Good night.